Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemus. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The Saipan Airport upgrades its entry process. Also tonight, multiple agencies will get extra funding. And they say it takes a village to raise a child. And a program that does just that is back. In sports, national soccer teams take a test. Find out if they passed or not. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. Good morning, Kiko. I am here at Docomo Walleri Branch. The Docomo staff here are super helpful with my appointment. They take good care of me in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for helping me out downloading and using the Skip Lionel app. I can take care of all my Docomo needs. No need to wait in line with the Skip Lionel app. We love you, Docomo Pacific. Better together. And there you have it. McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. From the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich. From the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich. From the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I am the I in CNMI. We are a team, and you cannot spell team without me. M-E. Get a shot. An opportunity to set the CNMI free from COVID-19. So let's go for a save. A strikeout. A knockout punch. That's our goal. V for victory. V for vaccinate. Let's make this a team win and we can all celebrate. Half a day to the WAMI and good evening Commonwealth. Today is Monday, June 28, 2021. The Saipan International Airport implements a state-of-the-art process that makes traveling simple. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection, along with the Commonwealth Ports Authority, announces the implementation of Simplified Arrival Process, which uses facial biometrics to replace the manual document check. This touchless process provides travelers safety, security, and a good experience. Now, when travelers arrive at the Saipan International Airport, they will pause for a photo at the primary inspection point. CBP's biometric facial comparison will then compare the new photo of the traveler to a small gallery of passports and visas. And if a traveler cannot be matched to a photo on record, they will proceed through the traditional inspection process. If there are travelers who wish to opt out of this new process, they can notify an official and present the valid travel documents. As of now, there is no simplified exit process, so travelers are encouraged to continue to bring their travel documents to the Sinemai Airport. Since the Sinemai is currently not operating with regular flights, this was a great time to improve the facility and be ready when we open back up again. Up on Capitol Hill, lawmakers pass a bill that will provide funds to over 10 agencies and nonprofit organizations. The Saipan and Northern Islands Legislative Delegation unanimously passed the legislation that will supply thousands of dollars to 12 agencies and nonprofit organizations. Representative BJ Atal. The funding source comes from Public Law 20 59, 
which is the obligations of the central government that's owed to the third senatorial district under the within grade increase payments during the 90s and early 2000s. The, the third senatorial district used up its local funds to pay within grade increases for employees in the third senatorial district. So those monies are being paid back. The third senatorial district received $560,000 from the 2020 collection. So in fiscal year 2021, those funds were suspended. So we were able to get the additional funds that were collected in 2020 to be distributed out. The money will be going to agencies that service scholarships, sports, recovery, and much more. We gave $100,000, approximately $100,000 in addition to SHEFA uh, for the uh, scholarship program. We also gave money to the fire station for the north side for the blueprint payment, the Saipa Mayor's Office for the operations, uh, Saipa and Little League. We also gave money to the Morales Racing Association, uh, Board of Parole. Um, we gave 15000 to the museum to assist them with their operations down there, $25,000 to a new organization that's going to help a lot of our hope recovery uh, uh, participants and the drug court participants so there's another outlet for them to to hopefully stay positive and you know continue the fight against the addiction and be a uh, part of this community and additional $25,000 to an imposse $10,000 to the Fishermen's Association, uh, $20,000 to the Women's Association, and $35,000 to the Micronesian Legal Services to help them with the indigent populations on legal services. The delegation tries to accommodate every agency's budget requests, but it always depends on the annual collection. Sometimes we can't give them everything that they've, they've requested for, but anything that we can to distribute and help the various entities, we do that as much as we can. The Saipa Neighborhood Watch gets restored. Take a listen. Through the availability of the American Rescue Plan Act funds, the 16th Saipan and Northern Islands Municipal Council has officially restored the Saipa Neighborhood Watch program. The program was in a hiatus back in 2015 due to lack of funding. But this year, the council aims to implement a year-round community-based watch, preserving the island's famagu'un, Manhoben and Manomku. Currently, legislation to appropriate annual project funding is in the works. The council also wants to dedicate the project in honor of Malena and Faloma Kitagualuk, the two sisters who mysteriously went missing 10 years ago. Chairperson Anadem upon Kostru states everyone's lives and peace of mind matter. The series of public hearings begin today and will continue throughout the month of July. For more information, you may contact 664-2700 or 664-2701. A lot of support and love went down at the Strides for Pride event, which drew over 200 people. The event started with a roadside waving at Garapan Fishing Base, followed by a march down to the American Memorial Park. Happy Pride Month! <laughs> These events are intended to raise awareness and to help celebrate and take pride here in the CNMI. Uh, we want to make sure that the community is aware that you know we do have people of all walks of life and uh, many identities and we just want to celebrate everyone and celebrate.
coming up, get to know more about our Miss Earth candidate. Smoothie of the month for Gold's Gym, Strawberry Mango Tropicana, priced at just $5.50. It includes non-fat or soy milk, strawberry, banana pre-post, strawberries, and mango. 398 calories, 5 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs. Bring your own cup and save 50 cents. Smoothie of the month, Gold's Gym, Garapin. One of the best things you can do during the pandemic is to get yourself healthy and strong. Gold's Gym is a great place for a tune-up. Wide open workout spaces with dedicated cardio, free weights and machines, personal training, group exercise, and good nutrition. Short-term daytime promo on sale now, just $159 for three months. Call 233-4000. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. The scene in my house minority block takes their course of community projects over to Tinian. Take a listen. Members of the House Minority Block completed their first Tinian beautification project over the weekend. And so we're here to help uh, rehabilitate the Broadway Estates basketball court. And we're going to do some uh, repair work at the aging center and at the baseball field dugouts. Representative Angel Demopon states this was in celebration of the first anniversary of the CNMI Governor's Economic Council, through which the public-private partnership program was established, making all their past, current, and future projects possible. So after we're done with this project, uh, we're going to tackle uh, probably the biggest project of the year for us, and, and that's the uh, mural project of the Froilan Tenorio Beach Pathway. Uh, which we expect uh, to paint completely all uh, about approximately 3.5 miles um, of pathway. Uh, it's a huge project, uh, but we also feel that it's a unique attraction. Uh, once it's done, that it will be a unique attraction to our visitors and even to our residents. And so we're excited about that project. And with the help of their field staff, they were able to complete the Tinian project in just two days. Want to know more about our Miss Earth candidates? KSPN asked these eight young women what ideas or projects they have in mind if they win the crown. Let's listen to what they have to say. Suan so Wavell's summer plans is to look more into college. Currently running for Miss Earth, Wavell's hopes to build her network and make new friends. If I were to win Miss Earth, I hope to inspire the youth about our environment and uh, positive behavior towards um, mothers. Macy Fujihira is currently a college student who aspires to be a teacher. Fujihira says she joined the pageant to make friends and learn more about the environment. If she wins, Fujihira states her focus is towards outreach projects such as fairs and festivals. Well, I want to help the community learn more through these fairs and festivals and just these reach out programs in general so that they know more about our environment and other pressing issues besides you know, the common ones such as pollution and how we can work towards 
solving it and having a more eco-friendly lifestyle. Megan Hemley is also a college student majoring in natural resources. Hemley says she joined the pageant to be more involved in the community and learn more about the earth. If I win, I wanted to actually help plan ways to make our buildings more sustainable and eco-friendly because I've seen some of our companies have solar panels and when I ask them, they don't actually use them. So I kind of wanted that to be incorporated instead of actually just shown. Tani Borja's current plans is to enlist in the U.S. Army. For now, she wants to be more involved in the community and hopes that running for Miss Earth brings more opportunities. My first step would be to target our leaders for the island. Um, I would want to create presentations and, you know, target the schools and government, um, government, basically, that area. And just, just to like brief everybody on the environmental issues on our island that everyone seems to be ignoring, especially our leaders. Crystal Rio is a full-time student at NMC and holds a full-time job as well. Rio says she's seen the community come together for different events and causes. This time, she would like the community to come together for the environment. I see the community working together well, in like different events, like the Pride Walk that's coming soon, and then the, the situation about the siphon cares for animals. I just want to try and make projects where the community as well can, like, give their own ideas and thoughts about what we can do to help the environment get better, especially since COVID is slightly lessening as the time passes. Stephanie Borja is a nursing student who works two jobs. Borja says she wants to give back to the community by educating the youth about the environment because they are the CNMI's future leaders. Whether or not I win, honestly, I still want to um, be able to participate and give back to our community. So one of the big plans one of my biggest plans is to somewhat en enact a system so that everyone is able to dispose of their trash. Everyone has that option so that there's no illegal dumping and whatnot. Um, as well as to lessen and reduce the waste production that we have. It's really easy to um, say no to plastic. For me, the more you practice it, the the more you would want to teach it as well. Bianca Zapanta is an upcoming senior at Saipan Southern High School. Zapanta says running for Miss Earth allows her to break out of her shell and gain experience in helping others. I want to have more beach cleanups or like like organize more like um, ways to like help help our uh, younger generations to make them acknowledge that. Uh, our island needs more help. Justine Kirby is a pharmacist aide. She tells us her reason for running for Miss Earth through a quote by Arthur Robert, who says the biggest threat to our environment is believing that someone else will handle it. Specifically, I wanted to target illegal dumping because I've noticed that that has been rising lately um, in Lao Lao, uh, one of our last pristine beaches, which rarely gets red flags. Um, noticed a lot of trash and dumping around um, so firstly I would want to give my hand in picking up this garbage right with my team of course and like-minded environmentalists here on island yep, that's my first goal good luck girls Earth's my favorite planet all right coming up in the sports report we've got the boys against the girls and or women coming up next sports and or weather For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile, and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link. The Tan 
Sue Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. We're in a race whether we know it or not. And build our new normal. Enough of my to be out. Let's activate the light. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Buenas sports fans. Buenos sports fans, without any tournaments to travel to, our men's and women's national soccer teams had a couple of very significant exhibition matches yesterday. Let's go with the ladies first. First priority, a team photo. A 3.30 start, the U15 boys nationals in white. Taking the first shot on goal, bad angle, the defense holds for the ladies. Here's the pass to Gabby Race at the top of the box, but she's got no room to move, and that stops the women's first attack. Gwen Borham, back from college for the summer, takes the first corner for the women's national team, and that is going to go off of Jana Casarino and cleared by the boys. Rumbling, fumbling, stumbling, Brittany Wally had an opportunity, but tripped on herself. Like physical play? There's a nice two-hand push. Pia Niwak. Throws in, back to Pia. The high shot, oh, the goalie comes in for the save. The first half ended in a nil-nil tie. 72nd minute, Gwyn Borja drills a penalty kick off the post, and then the only score of the game. Final, women's nationals won, boys U15 nationals, zip. The second game of the doubleheader featured the men's national team battling the M-League All-Stars. The cave they'll pitch where hopes and dreams sometimes come true. NMI Nationals in blue, M League All Stars in orange. The Nationals with the corner kick had set it out and then booted out by Dev Bacani. Richard Steele is scoring threat until he gets tripped and tackled, but the ref 
swallows his whistle. Sun Jun turns and shoots, but not enough gunpowder on that shot. And it was still 1-1. But not for long. In the 52nd minute, Joshua Bregan gets an assist on a Caden Church blast. 2-1. Nationals. Oh, that Did these two teams want this bad? Does the Vatican have a sports council? Of course, yes. Strange play here. Young takes a free kick straight to the goalie, John Pacaya, who, while running out, takes an elbow to the gut, crumples to the ground. He was almost all right. Bodies flying everywhere. Who cares that it was just an exhibition? Kotaro Goto works in toward the goal. He scores it point blank range to make it 3 1 in favor of the Nationals. Go, Kotaro! Sudden June Tenario trying to join the scoring parade, but that cross easily picked off him. The counterattack. Mark Esselin passes to center field. He gets the ball back. Streaks downfield. Takes a shot. It's deflected out of bounds by Daniel Pablo. Martin Jambor takes the corner. The header. Ooh. Nationals go on the counterattack. Sun June tries his luck at a header with the same results. Huh. Oh yeah, who said this was just an exhibition contest? Both teams taking this like it was a championship match. They play with the pedal to the metal. A free kick for the M League Stars, taken by Z Lee Ziong, who scored the M's first goal, the only goal in the first half. That ball off John Moore's leg. Oh, a heartbreaker. Next possession, Sun Jun from the right side. The ball slides past the goal and goal! 4-1, the final in favor of the Nationals. And as the spectators left the field, they wondered just how good this NMI men's national team is. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking, Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. So what are you going to do this year? At Gold's, a dedicated fitness studio with a cushioned floor is perfect for group exercise. The cardio room features a variety of treadmills, bikes, steppers, and ellipticals. Fitness machines will help you achieve your goals, and the largest free weight area on Saipan gives you comfortable space to work out. Gold's gym team is ready to help you get to your goals. Try harder. We know you can do it. Our high today was 90, briefly at 11 o'clock this morning, below 81, 80% humidity, very sticky out there. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, isolated showers, east winds around 10 miles an hour, high 89, low 80, seas 2 to 4 feet, sunrise at 10 minutes before 6. There's a high tide 1 past 10, a low tide at 6.13, sunset 6.51, get used to it, it's that way for 21 consecutive days, happens every year. That is your new sports and weather, the week's off to a good start, thanks to you. Thanks to us. Thank you for watching. See you back here Wednesday.